my channel it's your girl miss v with yet another video on miss v kitchen and on today's video i come to you with this simple recipe that's the chicken pie recipe or rather the hand pie the, the chicken hand pie recipe and before we go to that make sure you subscribe like comment share do all that good stuff and i want to shout out the new subscribers the people the new people into the family i want to i want to shout out lydia nduba she's my um my homie and then uh linda mckenna and ray justice so karibuni sana to this family and let's go straight to the ingredients without wasting time so ingredient number one you're going to need four cups all purpose flour okay you're going to need sugar so we're going to get a tablespoon of sugar we're going to get a teaspoon of of salt we're going to get 250 grams of unsalted butter okay so if you use salted butter skip the salt and you're going to need water that has ice in it and we're going to use it in in portions i'll show you how we're going to do that so you it's it's a chicken pie so you're going to need filling for the chicken pie so of course utahitaji chicken yako ini chicken sawa sawa utahitaji potato yako ini potato yenye imekatwa into very small pieces we have the yellow red green paper that's been also diced into small pieces we have carrots that have been cut into small pieces we have leech okay we have red onion we have uh, black pepper chicken masala the chicken cube by by knorr knorr i mean and uh, a tablespoon of um wheat flour some dania some garlic oil to fry so the pies are put in the oven so i've already pre-greased my oven tray you can use a parchment paper if you have so let's get straight into making the dough so we have a bowl here and a sieve so we're going to pass the the flour through the the sieve this is just to remove any lumps that could be on the flour the next step you're going to add salt so this is approximately one table one teaspoon then you're going to add some sugar that's a tablespoon so if i didn't mention the butter was freezed is freezed so don't use melted butter it's frozen so don't use melted butter so you since this is 500 grams i'm going to cut it into two okay and cube it into cube it like that then put it in okay so frozen butter so what you're going to do is mix the butter with the flour At this point now you're taking your iced water okay then don't put in the ice use just use the water so here is the water don't you put the ice so you're going to add like uh, four tablespoons then you're going to mix your dough in And you don't to use a lot of force just slowly okay. 
there will still be the issue of principles to be with. You'll need to add like two, two more. So you're going to add slowly, just looking at how your dough behaves. This is just to put the the dough together. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me meant to be in the great outdoors so this is how our door looks like don't expect your door to have like the consistency of chapati or what is it called or maybe pizza dough no it has a very different consistency but now you can just make it to make sure it's well you need well need just need it mine is ready now um, i'm pleased by how it looks like okay i'm happy so this is how it looks like okay so what you're going to do is sorry get a clean film Wrap it. And we are going to put it in the refrigerator, in the fridge, not in the freezer, in the fridge for 30 minutes. Can do for 30 to 1 hour. Okay? So, wrap it like that. then put in the fridge we've already put some oil in the in the cooking pot so you're going to straight add the onions okay that is all always sounds so good then we're going to put the leech leek sorry the leek we're going to put a dash of salt then give it a stir. Okay. So we're going to brown this until it's translucent, simply cram caramelized. Caramelization, that's what we're doing. Just until it's. At this point, you're going to add your chicken as you've seen that they, they, they're not brown and you're going to add your potatoes your black pepper just like that that's enough like that's like a quarter teaspoon the 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 nor cube you're going to add like half of it not the whole thing because of the amount of depends with the amount of chicken you have then the chicken masala you're also are going to add like this amount then you're going to stir it everything so the good thing with the stuffing you can add as much as as much vegetables as you want but you could even add peas 
all depends with your preference and you could also just follow this this recipe smells so good so we're going to cover for like one minute then we're going to see how it looks this is how our chicken and potatoes look like Oops. we're going to add the carrots the yellow green red paper bell paper okay then we're going to add the garlic in then you're going to add some water if you have some broth broth that's that's okay so we're going to cover this for like seven minutes so after the seven minutes you're going to add the flour so you've mixed the flour with water so the flour is just to help in thickening of the filling and it's also going to help the, the pies to be nice and moist inside So you need to to mash the potatoes to check if they are ready. If they are not, you're just going to cover and give them more time. And then you're going to add your dania. So it's we're going to test to just make sure we everything is okay because at this point that's when you're going to need to adjust. The only thing we need to adjust is some salt and we're going to add the nor cube so we're going to put all of it and then also some chicken masala so you're just going to adjust and get it to how you like it So this is the consistency you want with your filling. You don't want it to be uh, watery and you don't want it to be very dry. So we're going to cover it for like three minutes, then come check if the potatoes are well done. So my people, sorry about the me. But this, my, my nini is ready, my stuffing. This is how it should look, guys. Okay? So we're going to transfer it somewhere and let it cool. It needs to cool completely. And then as it cools, we're also waiting for our dough. 
so yeah we are going to come back when you're feeling in the the chicken pies <laughs> So here is our dough after keeping it in the fridge for 1 hour to 30 minutes. So we're going to sprinkle some dough on the surface. Then we're going to divide it into two. Okay. Then we're going to roll it down. Find a, a shape to cut with. Could use a round shape thing. Could use a square. So what you're going to do is cut off the sides. Okay. So what you need is something that has like a, a perfect size because i want to cut like I, I you can i want to cut mine in like uh, squares so i'll cut here okay this is how the thickness looks like and then i'll cut again like this Then I'll cut here. So you, to make wa your work easier, you can use a square shape like that. It's a square rectangular shape. Filling. You're going to take your filling and then you're going to put like this okay make sure it's at the center then you're going to if it's a lot you can reduce then you're going to put your nini together like this your pie Okay, stick together like that. Then you're going to use your fork to seal it. So you press the sides in like that. Okay. So it's well sealed. Just press with a fork like that. Then you're placing it on the baking tray. Then you make holes with a fork like this. This is to just make sure you put some air in inside. To make sure it doesn't burst out when you put it in the oven so i'm going to show you again what to do so take your filling put it in okay then like that seal the sides then your fork again and press press in 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 and then press in 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 like that then again on the baking tray and then just that too either this already so i'm going to do all the other square ones 
then I'm going to come back with the round one, round one, round ones. We fill them in together. I'm back with the round ones. So I simply cut the round. This is what I use to cut the shape. Can you do bigger or this size? So again, you're filling in like that. Okay. Then fold. It's too tiny, man. Too tiny. Then I think I should find a bigger round thing to do this. Then again, nachoma. Press <laughs> the sides like that. So you can make the shape that you want. Your should be open minded, yeah. Now these are if you go search for pie, chicken pie. This is what they're going to see on the internet. So that shape. So you can do square or circle, and you can be you can do big circles. If you don't do too much work or small circles, if you want to make many pies, okay? Yeah. So see you when we are putting them in the. We are doing the next step. If you're tired of cutting the small pieces, you can just do one gigantic mega pie. So there you go. Nice and big. So same process, just seal it down. So egg wash. Don't have a pastry brush, so I'm gonna do that. I know my pies are different shapes and sizes. I just wanted to show you guys that you can make different shapes, different sizes. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to put this in the oven for 20 minutes at 180 degrees preheated oven so we're going to cook this until it's nice cold and brown so we're going to put it in and bake for 20 minutes so guys this is the end product our mega chicken pie looks so bomb these are the mini ones of that shape. Then these ones also turned out so well. Oh my God, I'm so happy with how everything turned out, yeah? And then we also have th those ones. So we're going to break. So this is how they look. I'm going to school group of schools <laughs> yeah so that's it for today's video till next time it's been a girl miss b with chicken pies bye